Alrighty, let's have a quick look at the uh, the tutorial. Um, place the door, we've got the passenger flow, we've built the offices to beautify the terminal, we've hired our staff, we've scheduled our first flights, um, and we've completed flight, five flights. <music> Hey, good day, and uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, uh, Airport CEO. Um, in the last episode, we built a small airfield, and we followed the uh, the in-game uh, tutorial. Uh, this time, we're actually going to go because you'll see that uh, we have actually another tutorial open, which is the regional airport, and that's what we're actually going to start building now. So we're not going to follow it step by step, but we're going to go through a series of actions um, that will complete. Uh, this mission or complete the the setup of the airport um, so we've still got our small airport in play and we're going to uh, continue to build on our small airport right through till we get to our international airport um, now if you watch the last episode you'll see that the small airport uh, looks a little bit different than it did in my um, last video uh, and that's because I found this new feature in gaming it's called save your game um, I forgot to save the game, so I've just quickly done another one, but that's okay. Let's get straight into it. So, building the new airport, scrolling up to the top, um, we're actually going to start building our terminal uh, for our small regional airport. So, let's start building our terminal um, in preparation for uh, building our airport. So, the foundation is the very first block, and we only want to build a, a small one, as I just said. We're actually um, going to use this opportunity to build an airport. Um, similar to a, I guess, a real life situation where we're just going to keep on building and growing the uh, the airport. So we're going to build the foundation, and once we start the foundation, then we're going to start building some roads uh, to allow the uh, the vehicles to to come in and and drop off. So let's build the the public roads, asphalt on this side, and as you can see, I've just separated the uh, the driveways. Um, to allow the, um, the cars to, to come in. I think that's aligned. Yes, it is. All right. My eyes aren't as bad as they used to be. Um, now, remembering we still have, uh, obviously, the turnaround point. So then we're just going to put a couple of bus stations in here. And we're going to do a couple of uh, vehicle car parks over here as well, but that's all right. Remember, we're not um, going to overspend. The whole idea is, as we can see, we're down to um, uh, nearly half our funds, our starting funds there. So we're going to build a little bit of a, uh, a sidewalk and a road going down. walkway at the front and don't forget which is the important thing to make sure you have your doors without your doors they can't get into the place Okay, we're looking good. Now with the foundations, I'm just going to build a uh, another part of the foundations. So this will actually show you how you can literally enhance and um, build up on the features. And then you can actually grab the wall and hold the control button to get rid of the existing wall that's in the the building. So, you know, what it's actually done is it's, it's creating a bit of a... Um, the start of a small terminal. And the way that we're gonna build this is we come up and you, I guess you always have to think of what your, your end picture is gonna look like. Um, I'm planning of actually having the small stands um, on this side. Whoops, sorry, small stands. 
So we're building a regional airport and the regional airport requires small stands, not large stands. So we're gonna have the small stands here and we'll just put maybe, let's say two small stands. Um, and what I'm thinking is then we're gonna sort of have some medium stands in the middle when we start going to an international airport. So this will be sort of like a little bit of a domestic side and then on this side here, I'm gonna have the international, international side. So we'll let that uh, build and we'll just speed it up a little bit and obviously keep an eye on our funds as well. We wanna sort of make sure we're not overbuilding um, and we spend the, uh, the money. So we can start building our um, our taxi foundation. Oh. Build that in Asphalt. Move this up to here. Just to make it uh, a little bit different and remembering we need to bring our uh, taxi runway node down and join these up. You can hear a little bit of rain in the background. So whilst this is happening, the GA is obviously still making income in the background. So this is a nice way to, to start setting up your, um, your airport. Um, and you've still got some money trickling away in the background while you set this up. Okay, so now let's get into the next bit, which is actually starting to set up the inside of your, your terminal. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually put in the zone. Um, so we're just gonna zone some of this area, secure. I'm gonna zone this. And then we're going to sign this area here. Now that we've got the zones uh, set up, we can start putting in some items. So we're going to put in a couple of check-in desks. So we'll zoom in and just make sure you look at the arrows. And the arrows are pointing to where the customers are actually going to, to be. So we're just going to put in, let's say, two check-in desks, because that's all you actually need to start off with. Then we're gonna put in a security checkpoint. And we're gonna do two of these, even though only one is required for the, the regional, but we'll just set it up for the, the future. So we'll have a normal security desks. And we're gonna create a small one, and, we'll, and that is actually gonna be for the staff, and then the security end zone. And that's the minimum requirements you need. Um, the minimum requirements is just a security station in an end zone. Then we're gonna have some boarding desks. Um, it is a little bit hard to see, I can see that. But once again, following the arrows, you can have the boarding desks uh, just heading in towards the stands themselves. So we'll put that there. And another one here. For the small stands, you need to have doors. Um, so we'll just wait for the small stands to complete and then we'll drop the, uh, the doors in. Let's grab a little bit of seating um, as we're gonna build this uh, airport. Drop in some nice plants, make the place beautiful. And some bins, just to keep the place clean. Okay, so we, you can see you'll just see it uh, slowly building in there. So we've got the area. Now with the security zone as well, um, now we'll actually drop in the, uh, the wall, uh, just to break off the uh, the security zone to the uh, the non-secured area. So before we start having passengers coming in, um, I'm just gonna set the security settings. Um, click on it. Um, in this case here, I want this to be set just purely to passengers. 
um, and I'm just going to build a small queue. So. The next one, the small one, I'm actually going to turn passengers off and just have it for employees. And I only need a, a small queue here. And what that's allowing is it's allowing the passengers to go in through the main security and the employees not to be held up um, whilst trying to get in. So you've got cleaners and janitors and that um, just trying to get in. So you can see actually I was uh, lucky here. Um, doors have been, I think that's a door. Um, so we'll see how that is. Um, all right. So that may be a new feature. I thought you actually had to put doors in, but that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have a look and, and see how that works. All right. So the next thing we need to do is, is build a staff room and then actually grab a, a couple of staff to, um, get ready. So grab your walls. Um, doesn't need to be over the top. Just a little area here. We do need to zone it as staff. So you notice you've got two staff areas. So you've got a staff area in the secure and you've got a staff area in the non-secure. So this is the staff area in the non-secure. Um, but you have to keep in mind that every time they now go, they want to use the staff room, they're going to have to go through the uh, security checkpoint. So that's why we've, we've got that. So we've dropped the door in there. Now let's drop a couple of little items. Uh, we'll have an office desk. Throw a couple of little sofas in there to keep them comfortable. Maybe an armchair. Odd little plant. And a trash can. Just to keep the place. And they'll build that and that will be the little staff area. So it's time now to actually get some staff. So what we actually want here is we've got the check-in desk, so we want at least uh, two, four people here, or at least two people, and then we've got the boarding desk. Now, like a real airport, you can they will actually do the check-in, um, and then the same staff will move to the, uh, the boarding desk and actually board people in. Um, so you don't need to have six people, four would be sufficient. With the security, I think you're looking at uh, four security for the large and two security for the small. So that's six. We'll do a couple of janitors. And then we also want a, a little bit of ground handling um, just to make sure that uh, uh, the planes are being serviced when they come in. So let's press the, uh, the tab uh, and go to the staff. So view applicants. Okay, so let's start off with our, our airport staff. As we said, we want four of these. Um, let's have a look at our security staff. We said we wanted six. Just enough. Our janitors, we'll just take two for now. Uh, service technicians, we will have four. And ramp agents, we'll have four as well. Okay, so those staff will come. The staff will arrive via the uh, the bus, and you can actually see the staff coming in now. So these characters here are actually the staff. Some are coming in via the bus, and it looks like some people have driven in as well. Uh, so they're making their way to the staff room until um, it can actually until a, a flight comes in, and they've actually start working. So it does look like that's a, a door there. They have put doors there, so that's I think that's actually a new feature. Um, all right, so now that we've got the stand set up, what we want to do is connect the stand. So hit the connect stand and just connect the boarding desk with the associated stand. And now we can open the stand. So in this case here, we just want to open the stands for commercial. 
only. And they set up, whoop, that was wrong, commercial. And what you can see, it's actually linked its way directly to the uh, security desks. Okay, we're well on track. So let's just do a little, little bit of recap and see where we're going in regards to the tutorial. We finished the first part of the regional mission. Um, we've completed the second part, uh, which was setting up the, the flow. Um, we're now building an office uh, and build floors. All right, so that's a new uh, request, but it's done a new feature to the game. So let's actually have a look at now the, uh, the items and the floors. Um, I think it's under structures. There we go, floors. We've got a nice collection of floors. Um, so let's get a nice wood uh, fitting and we'll put that in the desk. There we go. Let's have another floor. Um, we can have some nice blue carpet uh, just in the main, main area. Whoa, that's blue. Um, and we'll leave the rest as it is, just until we uh, come in. Now, you may ask why I haven't done this, and I once I start moving into an international airport and a little bit later, I'm gonna turn that into a bathroom. Uh, so that's the only reason I've left that uh, area not blue, and the blue is hurting my eyes a bit. All right, so one last thing we wanna do here is just set up the um, uh, the queues, which will make it easier for these passengers. They won't be lining out side. Build a queue here. Okay. We should also be able to, hopefully, if we go to procurement, um, no, we can't yet. We need to... Uh, I oh, have the stands there. I thought we may have been able to go into the next letter level of uh, fuel, but that's all right. That will come along soon. So that's set up. We've now built our floors. Um, we're ready for our first contract. So we can actually have a look, and I saw a few of the, the contracts here. So we actually want cheap. We're going for a small regional airport, so we've got uh, our cheap flights here, a one star. So we'll do, let's say, the, the first one here, or Skylink. I like the, the name of Skylink, um, where we want six light class flights. So we've got the small stand, which we've got set up, and we need a check-in desk. Uh, so let's sign this one. Now that we've signed the contract, we want to actually jump onto the flight planner. So it's just in the bottom right-hand corner. Click the flight plan and you can see the contract or the airlines on the left-hand side. So we've got um, small stands already. Um, click, and you've got the six aircraft that we want to drop in. So you literally um, click and drag, and you have to schedule it after three hours in advance. So you'll see it will just pop in. So there's the first one that's going to come in. And we can schedule these in. So we'll give it a little bit of time there. Third one, oh, no, and if it doesn't work, you can actually just uh, cancel the flight or reschedule the flight. Oh. So we'll cancel that. Uh, it's a little bit tough to move on. All right, so we'll try that one again. We want to get that one a little bit closer, which will allow us to schedule in the third one. So just have to play around with it. And then the second flight, we're just going to comfortably offset it so it makes it a little bit easier on the um, flight. So slipping to now to Thursday, first thing in the morning, we'll grab our next, next flight. So just press tab to get out of there. Um, and we're looking good. So you can see the funds. We're starting to get down a little bit on the funds within the first million that we've got. Um, but that is all the expenditure, or pretty much all the expenditure we need um, uh, to get us going. We will need a little bit more in roads and fuel, um, but that should be enough to, to keep us going and get us started. 
So let's just do a quick tab on the tutorial to see where we are. Um, we're still just waiting for the desks to be built. Um, and then we should be ready to go. So now let's turn on the, uh, the features, go to the operations tab. We can now turn on security. We can turn on uh, agents. We can't do our uh, a jet A uh, yet. So that's turned on the security to allow people to start walking through the security. And it's also turned on the, uh, the ramp agents to service the plane. And that will bring in a little bit of revenue as well as aircraft are being serviced um, uh, as they come in. So the first aircraft we're expecting to come in, if we jump onto the flight planner, uh, is at, uh, what have we got, 12.45. So in two hours from now. So we'll just speed it up. You can start to see now passengers arriving. Yes, they are. Um, our ramp agents are sitting there happily waiting for the, uh, the pa passengers to come in and check in. And there we go. All with carry-on luggage because we don't have a baggage system as, as uh, yet. And now you can see the uh, staff office is starting to be built. So we'll get those desks into the next part of the mission. So let's just speed it up. Okay, so it's 12.45. If we look at our uh, schedule, we should actually see um, the first of our aircraft coming through. We're just waiting for our first, uh, not yeah, our first commercial flight to come in, uh, which will actually bring in our um, uh, to open up our general aviation and here it is a little bit off time um, 15 minutes late um, but it has still arrived there's a couple of features I think that we we want to upgrade we probably want to upgrade our uh, our um, runway soon um, but first of all I just want to get a little bit of income it's cost us 700,000 uh, or a little bit uh, a little bit more to build a small airport and now our uh, now moving into our our regional airport so we'll let that plane come in zoom in it lands fine the doors yes you did not have to put doors in doors are automatically come in okay so um now that we've done that let's just do a quick uh, Quick check uh, where we are. So we've hired our four agents. We've got our rooms open, which was uh, the area that was here. We've automatically jumped through because we hired our staff uh, to come in. So the last bit is to complete the plans and complete another five flights. So this is the first flight in. Um, as you can see, the staff are coming in. We're just gonna speed that up a little bit. They will actually do their boarding. Um, just to sort of check as well, you can actually check, jump on the plane. The plane will actually show you the, um, uh, the expected sort of uh, progress. If you click on the actual stand, it will tell you what the, um, the plane is requesting. So in this case here, you've got 15D boarding. We've serviced, so we get a little bit more money of the service, and now we're just waiting for the, uh, the boarding uh, to come on, on progress as well. So it's not part of the tutorial. Um, for a regional airport, but you'll see on this aircraft, um, it's only at 12% fuel. So what you can do um, is you can actually now start the progress or the process um, of putting fuel in. So we've still got five aircraft to come in. Um, we've already signed the contract. Um, so if I look at our accepted contracts, we've already signed a contract that will give us uh, Jet A and aviation fuel. So we don't need to sign a new contract. Um, what we do need is we need to turn on our fuel services. And you'll see that the fuel services aren't there at the moment. So we need to spend a little bit of money. And first of all, we need to actually 
um, take our first board member, which is going to be our procurement. So we've turned that on. Now if we go to staff and we do fuel applicants for procurement, we've got a procurement director. Now the costs of these are far more, um, so we're actually going to do these in stages rather than just a mass, mass purchase or mass um, hire uh, of staff. So now we've uh, hired the procurement, we can now go to the tabs and you can see a lot more options are open. So the, fuel, the one that we want to open uh, is the Jet A1 fuel service. And I think this is a nice part of the, uh, the regional airport because it just puts in a little bit of money um, without it uh, uh, being a little bit too much. So what we need to do is we need to build some service road here. Ooh, I'm actually going to go down to here because I've just realised I can actually add in another small stand if needed. So build the service road down that way. And we will just wait, obviously, the time, which I think is about, we've got two hours to go. Okay, so now this has been unlocked. We should be able to go at the top and we should be able to now, we can, we can order a Jet A1 fuel truck. At the same time, we should be able to now build our fuel depot services. So we've now got Jet A1 available to us, so we can build that. Um, to add that to our uh, a collection of fuel services. So we're just going to um, build that and we're going to use the space here provided uh, just to place that Jet A1 fuel. And the tanks. As soon as that built, they are built, uh, the trucks should, because we've already got the contract, they should get filled up straight away. Um, there comes our Jet A1 fuel service. Um, so the truck's obviously empty at the moment, and obviously, and I've got this in another video, uh, but you can um, now uh, click on your trucks. Uh, and reassign them. So through the operations tab, you've got uh, the job tasks and vehicle tab. You can actually click on them to um, to actually reassign them and, and put them in certain bays and actually move them to, to, other, to other areas. All right, so now that's finished. We've got our uh, trucks coming in. Our truck is actually going down to actually do a quick refuel. Um, the last thing we need to do is go into the operations tab uh, on the overview and we need to turn on Jet A1 refueling services. Oh, obviously we just need the Jet A1 truck to make its way up and actually get some fuel. Which is what it was requesting. Now we can turn on the Jet A1 fuel services. And we're good to go. So we've got the first aircraft in. It is unlikely that uh, it's gonna fuel up this because the aircraft had already um, planned to come in. Um, but we can simply sign in another contract um, for a one star, which would be the small. The other one is we, what we can do is also send a one star, um, but a repeating flight. So by clicking on this one and clicking on, let's say we'll do the CLM. Let's drop those into the, into the tab. So with the flight planners, first of all, we've got the recurring flights. So 
click on Skylink, recurring flights, and it gives you one option, but what it actually means is that flight is actually gonna come in the same time every day. And we're gonna make it the last flight of every day. Um, and that's just gonna come in and, and uh, keep on rotating for the required time. I think it was around about six flights. Next thing we're gonna do is go back, hit the CLM, and this is the same one. We have to manually put in our, our CMM fl CLM flights. Okay, so that's booked in. Close that out, speed this up, and we will be back when the first lot of uh, new flights come in, which is going to be approximately uh, 8.45. Okay, welcome back. It's 8.45 and right on time, you can see the first aircraft coming in uh, to our new regional airport. So now that it's coming into land, um, Hopefully it will request fuel services, but you can actually check that very quickly and yes it does So you can see the fuel truck coming out um, And making its way in so one feature that uh, can be a little bit uh, in, Until they fix it is the trucks do have a tendency to struggle to turn right so you can see that fuel truck is taking the long route um, To get to where it actually needed to get to um, And you can actually do a little bit of a workaround um, to, to fix that. Um, and we may do that before we get to the international because that will actually just slow it down. Um, but both aircraft are in there. Um, both aircraft are requesting fuel. Um, so it does bring in a little bit of air, extra income just to have that fuel. So it's jumping in there and it's refueling that, uh, that truck. Alrighty, let's have a quick look at the uh, the tutorial. Um, place the door. We've got the passenger flow. We've built the offices to beautify the terminal. We've hired our staff. We've scheduled our first flights, um, and we've completed flight five flights. So that has now opened up the next um, mission, which is to create a international airport. So. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the tutorial. Don't forget to uh, leave some comments on on uh, on the game. Hit the likes and don't forget to hit the subscribe if you'd like to see more on Airport CEO uh, or any other game that I'm doing uh, tutorials for. So thank you very much, um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. All right, bye.